In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to count number of digits in a number using recursion. So given a number, so suppose this number is 456. The number of digits present in this number is 3. Similarly, for another number, the number of digits present in this number is 4. So in my previous tutorial, I have already explained how to count number of digits in a number using iterative approach let me uh, refresh it quickly for so if we have to do iteratively then what we do we just declare one variable count and initialize with zero then we run a while loop and check if number is greater than zero then we increment the value of count and we reduce the number at each iteration and so uh, if the number is four five six then in each iteration uh, the number is reduced and the count is increased so uh, after first iteration the number becomes four five and the count uh, is incremented to one after second iteration the number reduces to four and the count increased to two and after third iteration the number becomes zero and the count uh, in increases uh, increment uh, the new value of count is 3 and after that uh, this condition won't uh, run as number is not greater than 0 so this is the iterative approach and I have already explained in my previous tutorial the link of that video tutorial is present in the description box let's think for a moment how we can solve the same problem using recursion so recursion is nothing but a function which call itself until the terminating or base condition is not reached so in this case what's our terminating condition so we terminate our terminating condition is when number is equal to equal to zero and until number is not equal to zero we call we call the method and increment uh, one in each uh, function call let me explain this concept through example so this is my main method in which I have uh, created uh, this is my main method in which I have declared one variable num and I have assigned a number in this uh, variable then I have called a function count digit in which I have passed this number as an argument and the count which returned by this function is assigned in a variable result and what this function does is and so this is our terminating condition when number equal to equal to 0 we return 0 and if it's not uh, equal to 0 then what we do is we just 1 plus calling the same method uh, again so uh, for example when we initially call this method we have passed this number as an argument and this number is not uh, not equal to zero so what this statement does is it uh, it call in this way then uh, this statement go goes in a pause state and it calls again itself and then uh, this statement again call itself so it again uh, goes in a pause state and when the count uh, when we call this method with argument 0 then our terminating condition is reached and we return 0 so this statement is waiting this uh, state uh, this method is waiting uh, to get return uh, from the function call so it returns 0 and when we add 1 uh, uh, one uh, with 0 then what we return we return 1 from this method call and so now um, this no longer uh, remains in a call stack then we return 1 and here uh, we get value 1 then we return 2 from this uh, from here and now we have returned 2 so the value here is 2 and now 
uh, one is added so we finally return three so the count of the number of digits present in this number is three and let me run this code and see the output see the uh, output is three uh, let's uh, change the number and let's run this code and see the output see the number of digit in a number is 5 so uh, this is how we can uh, solve this problem using recursion and uh, for more such programming video you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash and thanks for watching this video